All right. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Jay Cha. I'll be doing some Super Metroid randomizer for you. This is a SMRAT. Everyone knows it is SMRAT, the Super Metroid randomizer accessible tournament logic. Okay. So yeah, basically, everything is going to be <laughs> more or less out of logic, fine. but I'm going to no, break it are. anyway. No, uh, we're no, going to no. start. I just want to. Uh, say real quick, I do okay, have a donation thing I'm doing for every reserve tank that I run into. I'm going to be donating five dollars. So let's hope that we can find. This is a full rando, by the way. So uh, it's potentially I could run into them all four. So if I run into all four, there's five dollars for every single one. Uh, and so yeah, I'm ready for a countdown whenever you guys are ready. All right, counting down in three, two. One, go. Go. All right, so let me move my mouse off there. Yeah, so we're going to head down the climb here. This is pretty standard for randomizers. No series. Uh, oh, I was a little bit a little bit early on that again. <laughs> We're gonna go for uh, the ledge grabs here, or down grabs rather. And we got them. Very nice. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm really excited that I get to run Super Metric for you guys. I'm also going to be running uh, Gato Roboto Randomizer after this, so that's gonna be a little different. Uh, so the first item here uh, in Super Metroid Randomizer Accessible Logic, it either has to be the Morph Ball, High Jump Boots, Ice Beam, or Space Jump. It will be those items every single time because if it's not Morph Ball, that means the only other item accessible is the item in the ceiling. And the damage boost is not into... Uh, it's not in Logic. And so we need some type of item to get up there. But I'm going to do the uh, damage boost anyway. And let me there. I missed it. <laughs> uh, by the way, it's if I see the reserve tank, I don't have to pick it up. So there's our first reserve tank. So there's $5 that I will be uh, donating so you guys can keep track. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Another reserve tank. I hope I'm not too far ahead. <laughs> I just probably spoiled that. <laughs> so that will be uh, now $10. So we only got supers. Uh, so something interesting about this is, so this is full rando. Uh, so that means we cannot check a few items on our way up. And uh, we're gonna have to think about that as we come uh, to find our first, oops, our first uh, power bomb or bombs or something like that. So for example, we just passed, uh, we, well, Billy Maze has two items. Uh, the construction zone has one item. So already we're uh, missing out on a few items, not having any bombs or anything like that. So, but that's okay. Whoops. I promise I know how to do this. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, so what this means actually, I can't play right now. What this means actually is that Bomb Chorizo is absolutely going to have a power bomb or bombs. And that is because Alcatraz is out of logic and therefore we need a way out of Alcatraz. And um, so this is going to be, um, this is going to be bombs or a power bomb. So, which is typically like uh, why we call in the SMRAT, the SMRAT community, we call this the uh, power chorizo instead, because almost every seed will have a power bomb here. So there's our power bomb. So now we're going to have to make some decisions. Uh, we could elect to go down and kind of uh, look at those items that we had to skip, but we're actually just going to continue on. Okay go but I will do 
the 230 missile location. And we have our first missile pack. So, uh, not a lot happening yet. We haven't really found any major items other than Morph Ball. So something um, really interesting about Sprat is we're going to have to... Uh, runners who are learning uh, full logic for the first time um, need to learn how to manage their power bombs effectively. Uh, especially when we get down to Big Pink, we're going to need to have quite a few power bombs uh, to full clear Big Pink. So um, we want to make sure that we can manage that effectively. And also, we're going to check the back of Gauntlet here, grabbing these two power bombs. And so this is Smrat, which means there could be suits back here. It's double supers. Uh, but there have been some seeds where both of those items have been uh, suits. Uh, Varia and Gravity just chilling in the back of Gauntlet which I think is really funny. All right, so now we're gonna head down into Green Brinstar and uh, we're actually going to pull off our sec third, third out of trick, out of logic trick. The first one being the damage boost to the ceiling, the second one being uh, the Alcatraz and the third one being the mock ball to the back of uh, reserve here. This is out of logic. You need speed booster in this logic in order to access this area. But we're going to say nope to that. Ooh, okay, so we found another power bomb. That's really nice. Um, so that's going to help us out a lot when we head down into Big Pink. And we find a super missile here. Something you'll probably notice about SM Rat Seeds, we're going to find actually quite a bit of supers uh, early on. Uh, that's because uh, the logic just takes into account uh, basically the easiest way to fight like every boss. So we might even find Grapple Beam pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it's just a real nice... See another super here. It's just a really nice laid-back logic. Uh, we actually have a tournament for this, the Snap Tournament. It'll be the second year in a row that we've done this tournament. So if you're interested in this logic and you haven't played, a uh, super metro and you want to like learn we think that this is whoops this is the best uh way to do that because all the, all that you're seeing so far is not required this is what i'm doing because you know of course uh better runners will do these tricks uh to be quicker uh but i don't have to i can find my logical progression in other areas of the game without having to do any of these tricks so with that being said i'm assuming we're going to find something down here in the basement or in big pink open and there is reserve tank number three, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means. Let's go. So can we find all four? Man, I'm hired. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um... Huh? So are you like hearing uh, extra audio just from my mic itself, like background noise, you think? Okay, so this is the Etikun's location. So we didn't find anything. Uh, so that's... Nothing here. So I'm assuming something nice is going to be a big pink. But right now, this is actually one of the first SM Rat seeds I've played in a while, where it's just been kind of nothing. Uh, but it's okay. We're going to continue to clear out stuff. So fun tip for all you SM Riders out there. Be sure to refill on your power bombs in the fire flea room to the left here, especially if you have five. Oof. All right. Hey, can you recover? 
bring this up on your phone so I can uh, get an idea of what I sound like, just to make sure I can assess the situation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, another power bomb. Very nice. So this is actually a pretty dangerous place if you don't have a lot of health because we're gonna go. We're going to be going into all these rooms with the side hoppers that you wouldn't normally go into with a uh, um, major minor. Whoops. Thank you. Another missile pack. <laughs> we're good on missiles. I generally in Esmeralda I like to pick up maybe like twenty-ish. It depends. Um, but oh, good. Oh, so uh, we're going to pull off another trick that is out of logic. Well, uh, it's technically in logic, but not required. So what we just did there is we shot a super in a very specific spot that kind of clipped through to the other side uh, in such a way that um, hit that block on the other side. So we're able to access four spawn supers here, which is screw attack. I like that. So now we're gonna be able to kind of just uh, torch everything. Cause if I'm not mistaken, screw attack does 2000 damage per frame, but it's, uh, it's definitely a nice item to have. Uh, if you want to, you know, do some damage. So we have that ability now. So something uh, also important to learn if you're wanting to do SMRAT is the green gate glitch. In this case, the blue gate glitch. Uh, this is actually the only gate from this side that you can actually open in this way. So we have four attempts. And I got it the first try. I should have done a donation thing there for every attempt I missed. I would donate a dollar. Because you can get into a, a... Ooh! Okay, you can get into a, a, you know, a pretty bad rhythm where you, uh... Um... You, uh, you don't have the right movements down. Oh, I did the thing, but I didn't do the thing. Anyway, so we have various suits, so that's really nice. Uh, now we're going to be able to head down here and check the... Charge missile location is a super, I'm gonna pick that up. I definitely want to find at least 30 supers. That way I can, um, if I find a way to get down to Lower North Bear, I can, ooh, another E-Tank. I can uh, be able to kill Ridley, not having to worry about uh, finding charge or anything like that. All right, so we have to leave back, but yet another item location here, unfortunately. But you know, we're gonna actually, Wait, can I even make it up there? I don't think I can. Can you, uh... No, I don't... I'm gonna try this. I don't... I can't jump. Okay, well, I guess I can't jump properly, so we're just gonna... Continue. I don't think you can do that anyway. Another super pack, so that's nice. So, that's the 30 supers. And uh, we're going to... We're gonna head probably... down so what are we at we're at three reserve tanks right so that's 15 dollars. so i'm i want guesses in chat do you think we're gonna find that fourth reserve tank what was that are we finding that fourth reserve tank can we get some fourth reserve hype in the chat please okay you guys you guys can hear me right Five tanks. <laughs> it's never been done before. <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, you guys can hear me. Good. Another power bomb. So we're at twenty power bombs. Hey, maybe we can show off uh, if I get into a a good position to maybe do a crystal flash clip. Uh, if I don't find ice or speed, that's a lot of uh, a lot of the time in SMRAT seeds, that's kind of the two items where runners have the most difficulty finding. So if you're going to join SMRAT and you want to like really do well, I highly recommend learning the Crystal Flash Clip. It's such a baller trick. Um, it's becoming more mainstream now. A lot of people are learning how to do it, but it's it's such a 
just a, it's such a versatile trick. You can use it to get into. Uh, um, you can even use it to get into uh, Shack Tool, which is really nice. So we're gonna check the right side here. And it's a missile pack. We're gonna say nope to that. So we're gonna go pay a visit to our first boss. Uh, this is Kraid. I don't have speed booster, unfortunately, or not speed booster, excuse me, uh, charge beam. And that's typically how I set up my Kraid quick kill. Um, but if I can get lucky here and get a good shot. Wait, what just happened? What is this? What? Hey, Jay, it's what? PGA. Can you hear me? Hold. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, no. I don't, okay, I don't remember what I came in with. Uh, I guess there's boss rando on? Rip? That's funny. I don't, uh, there's no way I have him with health for this. I didn't say it either. This is bad, guys. This is <laughs> really bad. I don't understand. Hold on a second. That is the seed I rolled. BFX. Boss randomization was on. No way. Hey, Jay, can you hear me? It's PGA. What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, uh, what, what randomizer is this exactly? This is a uh, very. Uh... Okay, okay. So you you seem pretty surprised, just as just as I was. Uh, it... Yeah, um, it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Boss random. Okay. All right. What was it supposed to be? A uh, smrat. It is. It is smrat. Uh, okay. Logic's the same, but somehow the boss rando got turned on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So uh, we're dead for sure because I can't do the yeah. damage necessary. No, that's okay. I just wanted to, <laughs> just wanted to check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. So that happens. So here's what's gonna happen. Um, I'm just gonna s skip right down to Varia. So Not... you're you're gonna continue with the seed? Do you think you got it? I mean, I. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I just wanted. To, I just wanted to check with you. It seems surprised like everyone else, but. I'm. I'm mega surprised. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like that was kind of funny, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'll leave. I'll leave you to it. I just wanted to check in with you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right you got. Uh, it. Sorry about that. So. I'm not entirely sure how the whole you know boss rando got clicked on there, but you know, hey, it's fun. Let's do it live. So, what that means is every boss in the game is going to be in a random spot. So, we know now that Kraid holds Ridley. So, it's actually kind of interesting. An SM Rat seed with, or a boss rando seed with SM Rat logic. That's, that's kind of wild. <laughs> Um, so, going to pick up, uh, some of this stuff again, um, there was enough supers around, um, we're gonna pick up just a few of those power bombs, we can skip quite a bit, uh, so we can get back to where we were, and this time, instead of going, um, oh, there's our fourth E-Tank, $20, hi! <laughs> Twenty five dollar hype. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Hey, I did say every time we saw any, uh, every time we saw a reserve tank, 
My mess ups doesn't change nothing. Let's go, fam. Okay, so I'm gonna head back up. Um, I pretty sure I'm just gonna go pick up the power bomb and then head right to Varia. Maybe pick up a few. Um, hey, someone in chat did mention if five tanks, if five tanks were possible or something like that. We just saw it here today, first time. Dog Pound Expo. Let's go. You foretold this. You did. Let's go. Okay, so uh, that was unfortunate. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. I think it was just a missile pack. It was my first missile pack, though, at the uh, 230 missiles, but that's fine. We'll skip that. All right. There's our power bomb. And uh, with that, we're just gonna go straight down to Big Pink. Trying to remember where that um, where that uh, that double super. Oh, there's a lot of supers in um, in uh, the back of Green Brinstar. So that was really funny. I'm going to remember that for, prob for probably ever, and I hope you guys do too. <laughs> hey, at least I had Mary on, so I at least gave a... I gave Ridley a, a fighting chance. Uh, that is also true. Uh, something that Stratlog mentioned there. The... The charge beam in the Estimrat community is famously known as the Ridley beam because in almost every seed, the charge beam is hidden behind Ridley. Oops. So we definitely want to pick up at least 30. That's for certain. But we're gonna we're gonna be able to get back right back where we were here pretty soon because we're going to be skipping a lot. We'll make this run even more exciting. Pick up our first missile pack below the bridge. We'll have our 20th super at the vanilla super spot. Whoops. Bonked my head. Or the Ridley boots, that's right. Gotta do the quick fall here. Don't remember what was down in the basement. Hey, we got it that time. I am using an official Super Nintendo controller. Uh, I'm using a uh, an adapter that attaches to my computer. Oh, something that I want to do for sure. Did I bump the door there? Yes, I did. <laughs> something I'm going to do. What was here? Power bomb. Okay, we definitely want that. That'll put us in crystal flash range if we need to do any hell runs or anything like that. So we're going to go down and pick up Screw Attack here so we can jump through this door and not die by a side hop. So you're going to see that trick again. Got to line ourselves up here. And I got it at first try again. Uh, actually, funny enough, if you watch multiple runners do that trick, you will come to find that each runner has their own setup. 
Uh, there's there's so many different spots actually surprisingly where you can pull that trick off and also some people just decide to do a running a running uh a running jump start which is kind of interesting i've never utilized that approach um but that is what happened all right so we're gonna go get our various suit and then we're kind of already back to where we were so that was see that wasn't too bad so something about this you need to make sure you don't accidentally let up on your spin whoop, whoop. see what i'm talking about you can get into like a bonk your head session all right here we go various suit We're gonna try and get this damage boost now. There we go. And we definitely want to get this E tank down here. Whoops. And that super missile. Because we don't know when we're gonna find another. I mean, it's likely we'll find another E tank, but with the speed I want to be going at right now, I probably won't. All right. Was there a missile in here? Kind of need more missiles. See, now, honestly, if I farm beforehand, I could go kill Ridley. Maybe if I got another, if I had more missile packs. Not sure if I want to test. I mean, I would definitely save beforehand this time. <laughs> <laughs> Me thinking I'm gonna get Ridley or Crane, and then all of a sudden it's Ridley behind the door. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually gonna go up. Using some wall jumps here. We got it. Kill Ridley, find Dragon next. <laughs> nice. So we got a few items here. We actually got three items that we're gonna check here at the top of the tower. We're actually going to check Gauntlet before heading over, uh, before attempting CWJ. Yeah, that that that's a uh, that's enough right there. I'm comfortable with that for sure. Oh boy. So screw attack again is really nice item to have because we're just gonna boop, 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 boop. just dead right now. Another super pack. All right. Okay, so we're gonna head up here. We're gonna pop that door open just so we can have it open later. And we're gonna check this front gauntlet item. So this front gauntlet item just loves to keep items hidden. 
So we're gonna save here for sure. So if we unfortunately get thrown somewhere that we don't wanna be, we are able to return. <laughs> So we're going to do a few uh, wall jumps, the early gauntlet wall jumps. These are actually out of logic as well. But something about, uh, ooh, I got that really nice first try. Um, something about gauntlet is there's a lot of logic behind it. So in order for gauntlet to be in logic, you need to have a variety of items uh, starting with a way up. So gauntlet is broken into two logical pieces. It's broken into an up logic and a through logic. So the up logic looks for um, bombs, space jump, or speed when there's, that's what I'm talking about. Charge beam. So uh, it looks for up, yeah, up logic. So, so bombs, speed booster, space jump. And then uh, secondly, it looks for through logic, which is always screw attack. So those items are needed for this to be in logic. Uh, but now we have Charge Beam, which is really nice. Unfortunately, I would really appreciate some item like Grapple Beam or High Jump Boots and... Uh, high Jump Boots and Spring Ball, something to be able to get me out of Dragon's room. Because uh, if we get thrown into Dragon, we're going to have to reset. So let's hope. Although, although the, the seed right now, to me, is saying... You can now kill Ridley. That's probably what it wants me to do. So what I'm doing is completely out of logic. So the only thing that's in logic would be... So this could theoretically be... Hold on one second. So this here is um, the CWJ, the continuous wall jump. I believe you have two, two frames on the first jump and a frame on the second jump. Remove that's opposite of that. So I missed it twice here. We're gonna see if we can, oh, it's one, two. Okay, so yeah, one frame on the first jump, and you're gonna see an animation, a jumping animation on the right side. Uh, unfortunately, I don't use moonwalk, so I'm not gonna be able to do, there we go. Let's go. Uh, not gonna be able to do the kind of in-room setup, unfortunately. But that right there is um, the CWJ. And we get another super pack. I'll go ahead and take it. And uh, this is the ocean item. Some people like to call it the, uh, the mermaid item. I'm not. I'm not sure the, the new name for it. Uh, the, the old name would be the ocean item, below the ocean. And then I think the mermaid item is a, a new, a new name for it that has been. Uh, used all right so we're gonna make our way into wreck ship and we're gonna see in what we run into here it could be fantoon it could be crade it could be um dragon we're hoping it's not dragon because then i would be soft locked i don't have any way of leaving the room but then if that's the case i will just uh Reset and we'll go right down into, through uh, Criteria into, uh, back down to um, Ridley. And we'll take Ridley out. And then from there, we will kind of see what we have at that point. But kind of see what we got going on here at Fantoon's door. So quick, guesses in chat. What boss is it going to be? Please don't be Dragon. Please don't be Dragon. Please don't be Dragon. <laughs> um, I'm curious if I can still... No. Darn it. <laughs> uh, okay, this is... I don't know if you can actually kill Dragon up here. Can you? Probably gonna die from... Yeah, no, okay. So, is there a reset? So now we know where... Now we know for certain that 
Dragon's door and Ridley's door will either be Kraid or Fantoon. This is a it's a very interesting seed. So we missed out on that E tank. That's okay. We're going to head down here. And uh, something actually that uh, a lot of people forget to check. I'm going to go ahead and check it here because it could be Gravity Suit. Gravity Suit loves to chill back here. I don't know what it is about the uh, Tower Supers, but it loves... It loves this location here. Okay, there's an E tank. Now we make our. All right. So thankfully we have quite a few power bombs and actually screw attack is really nice. Uh, screw attack is going to help us break some blocks that we normally would have to use uh, bombs or power bombs if we can just screw right through it. For example, right here, right there, and it's a missile. I'll go ahead and pick, I didn't really need to pick that up, but having 15, uh, I, I like having 15 missiles. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to head down. We're going to check Billy Maze. We're going to check the left of Morphal, which is the construction zone. And then we're going to head uh, kill Ridley um, and then head down and start doing basically all of Norfair. By that point, I'm hoping we find a uh, high jump boot, which would be nice. So, we're going to head up. So there's that. There's one of those, um, one of those blocks that we can use screw attack and not have to use a power bomb, which is really cool. So here's Billy Maze. Uh, power bomb, but wait, there's more. Wave beam. Everyone say hello. Hello. So this is actually kind of interesting because that would mean that gravity, I think they may have actually, no, no, gravity is in. So listen to this logic, guys. The game wanted you to find gravity, which has to be in an open location that we can access with what we have. I don't know why I look. Come up to, come up, uh, Billy Mays, because gravity is required for Billy Mays, to get the wave beam, and then back to Big Pink to open the wave door to get Varia. That is pretty wild. So now I'm really interested to see where... Ooh, hello. I'm really interested to see where... Uh, where the gravity suit is. All right, so now let's go pay a big visit to our friend Ridley. <laughs> so extra is really nice. Um, if Dragon was vanilla and we had to do um, suitless, we would be able to x-ray climb to get out of Precious Room. What was at, what was at um, here? I don't remember. Whoops. Oh, Power Bomb. Okay. We're coming up on the uh, items that we picked up before, before we uh, soft locked. That was nice. Ooh! Haha! 
Oh, dang it. They got the best of me. Alright, so we're gonna save this tube here. Now, uh, this is actually pretty. Nah, we're good. We're good. I will, I will save at the trade stage here, but I want to be, I want to believe in myself here, but you, you never know what can happen. You can get some funky patterns. So we'll do a quick save here, just in case. Okay. Now, we're gonna go show Ridley, who was boss, last time they got the best of us. Because we did not expect it, but now we are expecting it. Farm up some of those. Okay, here we go. Oh, I could have done a... So Ridley is a dead boy. Now we get to have his prize, which I'm assuming is high jump boots. Darn. But bombs actually is one of those items that are behind Ridley as well, quite quite often. In in Smrat. Um wanna make that clear. In SMRAT logic specifically. Okay. So we are done with that now we're gonna head on down into more fair we got lots to clear there hopefully we can find some items that are just gonna put us in go mode so we can uh finish this seat up uh fun fact because we didn't kill craig um we cannot whoops we cannot check this uh trade reward item here it's actually still going to be locked for us as you can see there so that's the fun bit about boss rando. I missed the jump. So it's going to be nice. We're not going to have to worry about any uh, hell runs because we do have that very soon. So this is another out of logic trick here. Uh, to get underneath these um, uh, gates, you need speed booster. A lot of stuff in SMRAT is locked behind speed booster that you can normally just uh, do some fancy tricks to get through. Whoops. So this is the ice beam location. Let's see what we find here. I did not mean to jump into that. <laughs> I meant to pull it back. Jumped a little too hard, too strong. Sam is too strong. Okay. So we're gonna give the crumbling shaft a little sneak, a little sneak peek here. This item can be really annoying if you don't have various soup. Uh, but we do. So we're going to kind of inch our way in here so we don't fall. Shoot over there. It's a missile pack, so we're going to continue on. Do a little bit of farming. Oof. Right. Okay. Okay. 
I shoot. Um, oh, the power bomb got him anyways. He's way over here. Okay, now we're gonna head down. We got three items back here. The E-Tank Spazer Beam. I gotta pick it up. My beautiful kitty. Ooh, there's high jump boots. Let's go. And gravity suit. See, that's what I was talking about. So the, the, the logic expects you to come all the way down here. All the way down here to pick up gravity suit, to go all the way back up to gauntlet, or not gauntlet, um, uh, all the way back up to Billy Mays to get wave beam to go down to get um oh shoot i forgot to kill this guy to go down to get uh words are hard but just know there's a lot of back and forth <laughs> i can't think and play at the same time okay so we're definitely uh we're going straight down into uh we're basically just going to go mode the rest of the seed um which is really nice we definitely want to find another E tank, but for now we're uh, just gonna just gonna go. Uh, so just to reiterate what happened here for anyone joining us, uh, this is a Smrat seed, SMRAT Super Metroid randomizer accessible tournament logic. And what happened was is when I rolled the seed, I did not I did not expect. Uh, it to be boss rando and so we went into a what we thought was crate and it wasn't um and uh yeah we kind of soft lost and so we lost we had to start from the very beginning i'm gonna farm up just a little bit of health here for the lava dives All right, um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna farm up, that super got down there. I wanna farm up my supers here as well. So we're gonna be going down into lower north there with just two tanks, but honestly we have all suits and screw attack. Uh, so uh, we shouldn't have any issues, but we'll take a save after our lava dive just to be sure. And honestly, uh, maybe I should have saved before my lava. We're gonna be doing a uh, high jump gravity jack gravity jump so i think we should be okay don't want to curse myself uh but i believe in myself i believe in myself we will um save after the lava dive here if i was doing a standard lava dive with just high jump boots then i would save definitely but um we're just we do, we're just doing a simple gravity jump here so we're gonna farm that power bomb there and then we're gonna lay whoops Menuing. <laughs> All right. So, how this works is we're going to come down here to so the last Namahe. We're going to wait for him to fire. We're going to pause and we're going to jump. And then we're going to de equip our gravity suit, unpause, hold jump. And it's going to throw us all the way up. So, that was a gravity jump. We're going to do a quick save here. Marathon safety and all. And we're going to head on down. So, um, at this point, we don't have speed and we don't have ice. But kind of what I was talking to you guys about earlier is I'm probably going to go for the crystal flash clip. Uh, so that would be pretty cool to pull off in a marathon setting. So let's just hope I can pull that off. Put our gravity suit back on. That is if I don't run into speed or ice first, of course. And I'll explain a little bit more about what a crystal flash clip, whoops, what a crystal flash clip is when it gets closer to uh, the spot in which it's required.
Oof. So now we're going to be making our way up the worst room in the game into the amphitheater. So, chat, I'm curious. Do you think this is going to be Trade or Phantom? Trade or Phantom here? Trade? I always get it wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna make our way down here. I will check to the left of these guys here just, just, to, just to find another E-Tank. Another E-Tank would be nice. I don't need it, per se. I can complete the game without it. It would just be relatively difficult. I don't want to put myself in that position. I'm not entirely sure why I picked that up, <laughs> but... Now I have, hey, 42 active supers. Let's go. Whoops. Okay. So we're going to be moving into the metal pirate room here. And by the way, I don't think I ever really introduced the game itself, either, but I'm sure everyone here, uh, from what I can see, has some knowledge of this game. It's a super metro. It's one of the greatest games ever made. It's probably my favorite game of all time. Um came out in 1994 when I was just a wee old baby, one year old. And despite how old, it, and this goes for a lot of games, speedrunning communities, but despite how old it is, you still find new tricks, tech every day. All right, here we go. Oh, I switched to my beam there. It's going to be Crade. So we're going to go for that Crade quick kill. So we're going to set ourselves up. Uh, we're going to charge a shot here. Crade's going to lift his arm. I'm going to shoot him in the face. I'm going to wait. And fire four supers into his face. And that is the Crade quick kill. And our missile tank is our reward. So funny enough, we went all the way down into Lower North Air to fight Crate. Uh, so that item at the very side of Crate's lair is now open to us. Uh, so if ice or speed is there, uh, I think that would be kind of funny. I'm not going to check. I just think it'd be kind of funny. We can see in the... Um, the uh, the credits afterwards, we'll get a list of all the item locations and stuff. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, what am I at right now? 25? We found, uh, what am I doing? 20, we found the three reserve tanks in the beginning. So that was fifteen dollars, and then we had to do a take a reset, and so we technically saw a new set of nerves two times. So that's twenty-five dollars. I will do a dollar for every failed attempt at the crystal flash clip. And for those of you who understand how to flash clip, I better get my <laughs> better get my pocketbook ready if I don't <laughs> if I don't uh, get this on a few attempts. I would like another E-Tank, though. We're gonna check here real quick. I ran into it, but that's okay. Okay. Now we're going to be heading out of lower fair here. Uh, we'll 
probably. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Okay, so now we're at a uh, pretty good E-Tank count. Whoops. <laughs> yes, do all the jazz hands. Whoops. Yo, we got the damage boost across. The ball boost, rather. Whatever you want to call it, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've always tried for that. I don't think I've ever actually gotten it. So, uh, we have Spazer and Wave. So we're going to pull off a new trick here that was discovered not too long ago. And this is what I'm kind of what I was talking about earlier, about how this game is so old, but like we discover stuff all the time. So as you can see, I just walked through what was four speed booster blocks, but I was hitting a block off in the off screen there that actually uh, kind of kind of goofed some stuff up, some stuff up, and actually turned those into kind of blocks that were walkable. <laughs> you could walk through them. So that's what happened there. All right. So now we will be going to attempt our crystal flash clip. Um, I'm slightly nervous, but let's go. I'll explain how it's done when I get to the spot in which it's going to be, um, it's going to be pulled off. We got to break this tube now. I'm hoarding a new trick for SM. <laughs> So we're gonna have to pull off another gravity jump here. Uh, this one much easier than the last one we did for sure. I don't think I jumped there. I did not jump. Just as I said, it was easier. <laughs> Cursed myself. Okay, here we go. There we go, that was much better. So there is actually like a really nice jump you can get where you go the entire distance. It's really nice. Unfortunately, I, I jumped a little too early. All right. So, I want to farm that power bomb there. We're going to need it. We're going to take a save here. I want guesses in chat. How long do you think this is going to take me? I'm, uh, one dollar. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Whoops, I didn't mean to kill that guy. I like to use him. We're going to take off all of our suits, use our reserves. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to damage ourselves down to below 50. Okay. I hope I didn't just kill myself. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, how's this going to work? I'm going to lay a bomb. It's going to bot me up about here. I'm going to lay a power bomb. I'm going to lay another bomb. I'm going to do crystal flash inputs. And hopefully crystal flash clip through the thing. So, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh wow i'm like 
That was nuts. Oop. Can't think. Botswoon is so annoying. <laughs> what is this black magic? <laughs> All right, so um, that right there um, is a really, really versatile trick. Um, highly recommended. <laughs> so now, unfortunately, we don't have speed boosters, so we're not going to be able to uh, speed booster through these blocks. But we know where we know where Fantoon is, and we know where Dragon is. So we're going to be able to just. Uh, Take out Whoops. I'm stuck in the sand. That was weird. So it's it's hard to really like describe how difficult that trick is because there's so much that goes into it, like a lot. Uh, there's so much involved with you know the correct timing of the bomb and the, and the correct timing of the power bomb and the right height, and then holding the crystal flash inputs at the right time. It, it's, it's, not, it's not easy, and it's especially not easy to do first try. So here's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna take off Spazer. And we're gonna try to do a poppy strat here, X factors. Oh, that was... Two. Get wrecked. Boom! On oh, by two. It's a little, uh, late. All right, that's okay. That's okay, we'll give it another shot. And two. Oh, I missed entirely that time. <laughs> but uh, Fantoon should be dead here the next round. Okay, so Fantoon's dead, Kraid's dead, Ridley's dead. We're gonna go up, we're gonna kill Dragon, and we're gonna head right down into. Um, we're gonna go down into uh, Torian. And surprisingly, with a 22 minute soft lock, we are uh, not doing too bad. <laughs> so uh, if I could have that 22 minutes back, I'm curious, I'm curious what my time would have been otherwise. I'm trying to do damage boost there, but I'm not jumping far enough. So, uh, and just to reiterate kind of what happened, when I rolled the seed, um, I guess I didn't see that boss randomizer was on. And so when, you know, your boy went to, um, to Kraid, thinking it was going to be Kraid, it was actually Ridley. <laughs> and uh, I hadn't saved. And so that was an unfortunate mishap on my part. But we, we, we ran with it. We're having a pretty good run. I'm going to go down this way because we... Uh, cannot go back the other way okay so we're gonna head up whoops Gonna head up to the wreck ship here. So this is a really annoying uh, place to try to get out of, but I'm gonna 
try to do it. I think I can... I think I can do this? Did I jump appropriately there? I did. Oh, no. Okay, um... We're just gonna... We're just gonna bomb jump. Up there. Whoa, I have high jump boots. Nice. That's awkward. There we go. I am definitely too far away here. Might be able to make this, I don't think so. Oh god, yes. That was, that was real close. My, my mouse just fell off my... Okay, we're good. Alright, so, um, now we're gonna go over <coughs> and, uh, pay Dragon, our final boss, a visit. Oops. What? And so we still we still don't have the items to get over effectively. We can there's a variety of ways we can do this. I think you might need speed booster for this. No, okay. So if you have high jump boot and gravity suit, you can do a jump from the ledge right there. Or I could have Ivy Jade, or I could have, um, or I could have, uh, uh, gravity jumped. Um, yeah, so, or of course I could have, um, CWJ again. But as you can see here, uh, we have actually opened uh, Wreck Ship because we killed Fantoon down, or rather at a. I'm not sure where Fantoon went actually. But uh, that's why. The ship is open, but now we're going to be running into Drake. Okay, while here. we're uh, waiting here for a second, we've got a donation. If I might step in here for a second, uh, Stump with ten dollars says first try every time. Must have just happened, but thank you so much for that donation. Nice, thank you. So it takes uh, twenty supers. I, I'm pretty sure twenty supers to kill Dragon is really our best. Really our best option here. Because I don't have speed booster. We get maybe a hype that our final reserve oh, tank here is. I just Englished. So that our Jay, final just, reserve... just so you know, that, that donation went to, it looks like save the animals, but kill the animals is still about uh, $15 ahead. So at this point, we're not cutting it off yet, but it looks like we are still killing the animals. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that that was a thing. Um, <laughs> so as... Did they hear what you said, or can I only hear you? Nope, nope, nope. They, they, everyone should be able to hear me, so they got it. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Yep. As you just heard, um, saving the animals is. You said save, saving is down by fifteen. Is that correct? Saving, saving the animals is down by about uh, twenty, twenty-five. I'm sorry, I can't do math. So yeah, 25. about, about okay. twenty-five and change. So uh, if anyone wants to come in for that, otherwise we are still killing 60, the animals. 60, 60. All right. So if you want them 
You want them animals saved, you know what to do. But unfortunately, it was a missile tank, so we may never know until the credits where that final reserve tank was. But we're gonna be heading on down to Torian now. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick refill and a sh save at the ship since we don't have ice beam. This is actually gonna be rather interesting. We don't have ice beam. <laughs> uh, so mother brain might be interesting, but we're, we're in this together, guys. Let's go. Wait, there were two super packs in the back of Gauntlet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick those up, <laughs> just for safety. Oh, we have high jump boots now. High jump boots, uh, Gauntlet is actually kind of awkward. Oops. What? What? So this is exactly why this particular trick is out of logic. I keep bonking my head. Okay, now I'm now I'm now I'm thinking about it too much. <laughs> Make it stop. There we go. All right, you just gotta ask. That's it. That's all it takes. Okay. I'm gonna go get these two. So screw attack is one of the best items to have coming back here because you don't have to worry about whoops. You don't have to worry about where you put I keep not jumping high enough. That's so silly. Um you can just plow right through this stuff. Alright, look so we're gonna pick up these two super packs that we know were here from when we checked it uh, when we first went through. I hope you guys are excited for everything else that's going to be happening here in the next few days. We've got some real exciting run over the next few days. That was weird. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> My select button's like, not today, sir. All right, so we have successfully completed the G4. We're gonna head on into Torian. <coughs> okay, so because we don't have Ice Beam, because we don't have Ice Beam, we need to use Power Bomb. And I need to be sure that I don't die. It takes three power bombs per Metroid to kill them. Uh, having Brain Ball is actually really nice coming through here, but unfortunately I do not have it. So I'll have to do some other uh, parkour action. I got grabbed anyway. Okay. All right, should have enough. Just one more Metroid room.
we have power bomb there. And then I'll power on the door. And then we're gonna get grabbed. There we go. Okay, we made it through. All right, Jay. So it looks like we just got one more donation from Frey Guy. Ten dollars for killing the animals. Killing the animals is now thirty-five dollars a head and change, and that donation puts us over three hundred dollars total. So thank you so much. So it looks like uh, we're gonna cut it off here. It looks like you're gonna be killing the animals, just so you know. Okay, great. All right. Sorry, animals. Been nice knowing you. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the door in the eye and then I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna save. My health is kind of sketch, but it's okay, I think. I have power of you guys on my side. Now we will go and refill. And refill our health. Get rid of that beeping. All right, so we're coming to a closing moment here. Just gotta take out Mother Brain, go through the escape sequence, and then we will be watching the animal burn. Watching the animals burn tonight. So actually, um, my personal preference on the animal, uh, particularly because a lot of times when I'm playing Super Metroid, it's when I'm racing, and I I do a lot of racing, and so my my thing is, if I know I've lost, I will save the animal. That's kind of like my thing. Did I go in and save? I think so. Can anyone confirm or deny? <laughs> I don't know. This is Monka. Well, YOLO. Here we go. <laughs> oh, ladies.
that was uh, my heart sunk for a little bit there. So now it's time. Saddest moment in all of gaming. Friend has been there for us. Way. The reserve tanks are broken. <laughs> yeah, almost a big oof. Got through it. And now we're going to be heading through the escape here. We're going to have to do the long way before do not have speed booster, unfortunately, but that is a okay. Here we go. Get your Bible thumbs in chat. Bible thump, Bible thump, Bible thump. Whoop. So, Jay, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you take 200 from that one ketchup? I did. <laughs> what, what uh? What what happened there? Did I misunderstand what was going on, or? Yeah, I basically took. There are times when you could take a double hit from the ketchup, and it, and it scared me. <laughs> all right, all right. Thankfully, I picked up those reserve tanks, and uh, yeah, yeah, ketchup can hit. The triple hits are terrible. Um, I did uh, have those reserves, thankfully, that we picked up. I was able to uh, come out alive on that one. Whoop. So because we don't have speed booster, we gotta take a long way around here. Whoops. It's so it's so shaky. I'm not used to uh, the lack of jump height you get without speed booster. And so this is the escape here, and we're going to be in our last few rooms and then we will be ready for time once I jump on the ship. Just a reminder, we are killing the animals. And yes, that that's true. Thank you for that reminder. Um, we are going to be killing the animals. For those of you that don't know what that means, there is a kind of an Easter egg if we go down where the Alcatraz was. I'll, I'll show you where that is um, when I run by it. But there are... Um, a room full of animals that you can go and you can actually shoot open a little block that allows them to escape. Um, so that's just kind of a, a cool little Easter egg. Oop. And there is the hole right there. And we're going to be heading on over the ship. And ready for time. Time. All right, time is one hour twenty three minutes and ten seconds. With that, uh, with that death, with the, <laughs> without the knowledge that you had turned on boss randos. Yeah. So uh, honestly, when we took that twenty two minute death, uh, forgetting that it was boss, or not forgetting, just not realizing it was boss rando, uh, and to come back. That was a really uh, good run. So really good at 123. Run. That's actually yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I, I know you're so you're you're up next with actually another run, but before we quickly yes. transition to that because we're slightly behind schedule, which is which yes, is fine. Yes. I just have a quick question for you because it was new to me, probably not new to people in the community. But what was up with that that frogway strat, that that new strat that I've never seen? Yeah, so basically there's this block that is off screen, and you can shoot it um, depending on if you, you can have wave beam, phaser and it shoots the block enough time and it actually kind of just goofs up the blocks and it kind of changes them into blocks that you can... Uh, I, I, that's like a basic description. I'm not entirely sure. The full <laughs> tech... Okay. 
behind it, but it, it's it's relatively new, and yeah. it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that, that was a great like for for me. Obviously, again, not the community that was new to me, and, and the, the Crystal Flash clip was was new to me uh -huh. too. So to see that stuff in the run was was pretty great. So right. Um, yeah, yeah, great, great stuff, great run. So we're gonna transition here. We'll let you set up. We'll give you about like five minutes or so if that works for you. You can use the rest. Yeah, of and then the moment up. the moment I'm ready, we can we can start too. If even if it's not like perfect. Even okay, minutes, so yeah. I'll set the timer on here for a transition of like five minutes. I'll I'll jump back in here and, and let you know and check with you. But why don't we do uh, we'll do five minutes and and guys, thank you so much for being here. And then we'll go right into your next run.